Hey everyone, Sam McGuire here from Enterprise DNA. Now, <clears throat> I just wanted this to be a quick video today because I am so impressed with the integration, this, the seamless integration of Power BI into Microsoft Teams that I just need to highlight how this can basically change the way that you operate on a day-to-day -day basis. And you know, as a and I know this from firsthand experience because this is what we are doing internally at Enterprise DNA. And I want to just showcase to you that you should be doing it the same. If you're a Microsoft shop and you use Office 365 and you have Microsoft Teams, what you can do now is you can actually have Power BI embedded directly into Teams. And it just makes, I mean, it was so easy to access data before um, with the online service, but it just makes it even more immersive. Um, and it's just crazy that you can be in this chat application, uh, you know, and we obviously use, we use Microsoft Teams extensively in our own internal, uh, with our own internal um, communication uh, you know, for, our, for our meetings, for our chat. This is how we keep updated all, all, all day, every day on, on, on the pulse of, of, of what's going on. Um, but also now we have the ability to look at all of our data just with one click. And it is literally one click away. And if you then have your online service area set up correctly, you can dive into everything that is important to you and get a, you know, basically any data point you could even dream of can be at your fingertips if you just set things up well and you, and you fully utilize all of the various aspects of, um, of Power BI and, and the online service. And so, you know, just as an example, I mean, I'm, I'm showcasing to you our own Teams tenant here, uh, our own Teams environment. And so I have, um, we have a range of our different workspaces set up. Um, we have a, um, we, so say for instance, we have um, our internal, we've got some internal products we're, we're developing, one of them being custom learning maps. And so very quickly, you know, I can just literally click in here. It's, it's pretty amazing. Uh, and I can utilize you know, this really comprehensive report that we have developed. Uh, and you know, basically it's like a web, it's basically web applications are at your fingertips. I mean, just think about how much of a, um, a change this is from, from historic behaviors, historic workflows and organizations. I mean, historically, you know, you're doing ad hoc analysis in Excel, uh, you're, you're only being, you're only able to get a little bit of data. You're then doing a lot of manual processing and transformations. You're then transferring that into PowerPoint. You're then sending that PowerPoint. Um, you know, uh, up the chain to a, a manager or executive, maybe you're reporting on it once a month. I mean, this is real time information every single day, immersion in what data um, is available to you and the insights available to you. I mean, it's improving workflows by 10, 20 X in my honest opinion. Um, and so, you know, and then it really comes down to how well you build your Power BI reports, right? And you can build these these amazing, you know, with Power BI as we know, I mean, as we as we we educate all all, all of you on and um, educate all of our community on us, you can build literally web based applications, analytical solutions, right? That showcase enormous amounts of information in a really compelling way. And depending on how you set these up, you know, from a um, individual report or even an app perspective, you know. You can in one one moment you can be in in the chat area talking about um, various different things within your organization. The next minute you can be coming over to here, and you know having a look at all of the important insights that um, uh, that are relevant to um, relevant to your organization. You could then take screenshots. You can also um, use the share or export op optionality or options that you have here. Um, a whole whole range of different things, right? And then you have also, um, you know, just all, all the different ways that you can set up your Power BI. You can you can you can have your apps all set out. You know, maybe internally you've got a range of different apps. You can collaborate on your data sets, so on and so forth. You could even you know create um, uh, you know you, within within Power BI you can create reports in the online service. Maybe you want to um, quickly use the Q and A service, right? Where you we go and question your data sets well you can very easily um, do that within here as well um, it's not something that we do as extensively because we like to build like actual reports actual models etc but there's no there's nothing stopping you from querying using like the q a on on a on a published data set so so many different ways that you can use this and then the other thing that power bi have have recently released as well on the microsoft team is the fact that you can have power apps and power automate and power virtual agents so i mean 
and we, we also have this tool called Asana that we, we, we use internally also. Um, but just the fact that you can access all of this so quickly within this one area is, to me, um, an amazing evolution of Power BI, right? Um, and is really, it is really going to change up how organizations work. I truly believe that. Um, and then when you, when you start combining all of these different applications, you can create enterprise apps that can combine power apps. Which, which can be used to, gra to um, grab data or record things that are going on internally. Power BI is then your analytical tool. And then Power Automate is the automation tool that can automate things that happen post, um, you know, post the information or post the insights um, you, when you make a decision. So, you know, those in combination, you know, I just know from my own experience internally for us, but also with with customers and just my my um, uh, background within within business and um, seeing how processes work, like just the fact that you can access these so quickly now and just be immersed in them is just going to change the way it's going to optimize so many things that get get done internally. Okay, so that's all I wanted to to discuss today. I just want to make you aware. I mean, if you're not aware, you should you can easily add this in, and it's so easy. I mean, literally, you're in Teams, you go to Apps. Um, you type in Power BI and Power. Uh, you type in Power BI like so, and th then you input the app, and then it connects um, automatically for you. And the same can be done for um, Power Apps, etc. So hopefully you can get from my 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 voice. I mean, there's lots of other apps as well, Power Automate, and a whole range of other things as well. Um, hopefully you get through. You know the way I talk about this, I'm, it's seriously exciting. Um, you know how this is how this is evolving, and you know. It's gonna. You know, it is really gonna change things. It's changing how we're doing things. I, so I know it can can help um, any business function, any team out there. If you just you know sort of um, get on board with with what is actually possible here, you know you can really make a big difference. Okay, so that is uh, that's all I want to um, discuss today. And uh, so hopefully you could see the potential here and enjoy this one. So look forward to the next time. Take care. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.